All right, guys, let's talk about this TV right here. This is the Toshiba 55-inch Kindle Fire. And um, I'm very happy with this purchase. I've had it for, uh, well, I have two of them, actually. And um, I've had them both for almost just coming up on a year now um, this is a 2018 TV it's a smart TV it's 4k there's um, you know all the the modern bells and whistles that um, you know is of the modern era of what a TV should be this is it and one of the nicest things about it yeah it does connect with Alexa um, and your Amazon account has all those cool features. But um, the thing that really attracted to me about it was the price. For a 55 inch, um, you're getting it for below $500. I'm sure that they've come down by now. But, um, you know, the picture is super clear. Like I said, it's 4K. Um, it is quite uh, light. Let's take a look at exactly, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I took it out of the box all by myself. Um, it, it does have, like, when you open the packaging, it tells you that you need to be very careful not to press with your fingers as you grip, like, don't grip like this on the actual screen itself. So you have to kind of be a little bit delicate. It would be better if you had two people to get it out of the box but like i said it is possible to do it uh if you're in a pinch uh and you got it and you're at home by yourself and you want to get it out the box and uh, up and running uh, i did it all by myself so and the other thing is i knew that i had this tv stand that was not that big you know previously i think there was like a 32 inch tv being uh, uh on top of it but one of the things that i liked about this this 55 inches that the legs are actually kind of uh, more towards the inside so they'll fit on a, a narrower TV stand. Uh, I did another review of the Roku. Uh, it's actually, I have the 55 inch version as well. I don't know in that video I said it was 50 inches but both of these TVs are the 55 inch model and those particular legs on that Roku would not probably fit on this, this smaller TV stand, which is why I had to buy a, a bigger one to, uh, to fit that TV. But this one fits just, just nice. Um, now, let's see if I can show you the, the back. It's kind of difficult to see. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, this, it has everything. It's got a lot, I think it has like three HDMIs. It has, uh, you know, cable, you can hook up an antenna all that cool stuff but um you know of course the main reason why you're probably getting or want to get a smart tv is because you have access to all the cool internet stuff um and it it hooked up right away i just want to show you the interface a little bit because you know in addition to you know doing comparisons on the price and on the picture quality one of the most important things at least to me is are you going to be able to navigate this TV uh, easily? You know, how is it set up? What is the OS or operating system like? So um, let's hit, uh, let's, I guess we should take a look at the remote really quick. So at the very top here, there's the remote that you can um, actually talk to Alexa and uh, tell the TV to do different things. There's the power button, of course. This is the back button. This is the home button. This is the settings button. You got this toggle wheel. Um, you know, rewind, fast forward, pause, play, up, down for the volume, mute. Everything is very self-explanatory. Uh, I'm not sure what this does, actually. Let's give it a try. Okay, I guess that just uh, took to the, the live TV scan. I actually don't have uh, an antenna or cable hooked up. I just am using internet streaming from, uh, you know, the, the cable box from my local cable provider and and then to finish the the remote out there's a uh, prime videos netflix hbo and playstation 
direct access to. So if I wanted to go to Netflix and I didn't want to even have to search through this mumbo jumbo, I mean, it's, it's not far away. <laughs> Next, Netflix is the first one, but if you just wanted to uh, actually hit Netflix, boom, boom, it takes you right there. So um, let's go back and continue the review and, and show you how things are laid out. So here on the very left, top left, you know, you have your search. Now, if you wanted to search for anything, you could do that directly, or you could actually speak into the, uh, the microphone setting. Um, here's the home page, your videos, uh, movies. This is all connected to um, Amazon. TV shows, apps, you can, I mean, there's so many different apps that you can download to the TV itself, and then settings, uh, inputs, like I said, three HDMIs, antenna, composite, media player, uh, let's go back. Uh, notifications, air receiver inputs, you have those options, network, you know, you, it connects really easily to Wi-Fi. I'm not going to do that. Display and sounds. Let's take a, a look. Picture settings, sound settings, audio output. I guess if you want to hook up uh, external speakers. The speakers that come with this... Um, Honestly, could be better. I think it's like 3D sound that they said it is, but it it's lacking definitely in the bass uh, department. Although, you know, for like listening to uh, people talking, like that comes across very good. But if you're if you want to use this, like um, you know, to pump your Pandora or your Spotify app, which I have, um, if you go to home. Let's scroll down. Amazon Music, you can do that. I have this uh, Play Up and Up, uh, AirPlay and Up and Up app, and that uh, allows me to stream to my uh, iPhone, which I'm recording on right now, actually. But um, that's the way that I discovered that I can mir mirror through this TV, um, as if this was like an iTV. Of course, it's not because it's the Kindle. Fire TV, but this is the workaround. If you have an Apple device, uh, tablet or iPhone, or even laptop, um, through this app right here, AirPlay Up and Up, I think it's either free or it's like a dollar ninety nine. It's nothing, you know. So download this app if you have an Apple product and want to stream to this TV. That's a really important feature. I should probably, I hope I remember to write that in the description so that people searching online can find this video. Um, I wanted to show uh, well I do have Spotify and Pandora here somewhere um, this is not my main place of dwelling so it's not all my settings per se but anyway let's continue with the review I wanted to show you the settings Live TV, controllers and Bluetooth device. If, if you have Alexa, there you can set her up. I actually don't, but uh, I suppose that you can kind of fine tune the settings. Here's preferences. Let's see, what preferences are they talking about? Parental controls, privacy, all that stuff. Sleep timer in case you're one of those people that likes to go to bed with the TV on. Not I. Um, device and software. Okay, in case you mess up your TV, <laughs> you restore it to factory default right there. That's how you do that. Accessibility help, my account. That's how you can actually link your Amazon account to this TV itself. And all kind of like purchases for movies or apps or whatever are pretty seamless once you make that connection. So, you know, as you can see, it's really easy to navigate. We're going to go back to the home screen real quick. And yeah, I mean, for... For the money, this is quite a steal, and it's 
it's a huge picture. I mean, you know, this is um, it, this is the size that it needs to be, in my opinion, for like you know a living room this size. It's like you know you're you're sitting on the couch, you want to see something that's pretty big. Um, it's not overly big, but it's it's definitely not too small. It's like this is a nice size for this size room, and it was below five hundred dollars. So definitely. Um, you know, if you're in the market to buy a new smart TV, this um, this is a very very good contender, and um, has my seal of approval. So, hope that helped. If you uh, if you thought that going through the the menu navigation was helpful and kind of gives you a little bit more insight into the uh, the way that this TV operates, feel free to smash that like button. Much appreciated. Uh, definitely helps the YouTube algorithm to push this video to the top and help more people receive this information so thank you very much for watching i'm going to leave a link in the description below and you can purchase it directly on amazon if you have amazon prime it will be delivered to your house usually like the next day or two um pretty awesome company gotta love amazon so yeah thanks for watching guys and um yeah hope you enjoy